We are living in the last days. We are living in the last days. There's a lot of satanism exposed out there. The devil is no longer hiding. The devil is just showing you satanism. There are a lot of devil worshipping going outside. And recently, I just watched the video of the of the Olympics, the opening of the Olympics, which took place just recently. And uh, you, if you have watched those videos, I have these videos here. Just check, just check these videos. Look at the pictures. Look at these pictures. Look at these pictures. Just imagine. Hello guys, I'm Cleofa Sanyama, Clear with it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're watching me for the first time. In this channel, we talk about the deep things of God in Christ Jesus. And we also do commentary videos like the one which I'm doing right now. If you want to donate, use the information at the description box or at the comment section which I've been below. Now, in the Olympics, I was so disappointed to see that, you know, they, were, they put up statues, you know, you know, if you if you watch this video, this, this video is very disturbing. It really disturbs me. It reminds me of that incident. Have you, if you have watched that uh, that movie of the Ten Commandments, the Ten Commandments movie. If you watch the Ten Commandments movie, where Moses had gone to the mountain and he had delayed to come back, and the children of Israelites they decided to to to, to make a golden calf, and they were worshiping around the golden calf. Now this is what I see taking place in the Olympics. This is what I see. This is what I see. Just check it out. 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 Now you see what's happening? You see what's happening? Now, you know, the reason why God in the Ten Commandments say you should not have any graven images because behind every statue there is a spirit behind every statue there is always a spirit and God does not want anyone to bind down to any idol be it the idol of Jesus be it the statue of Jesus be it of Mary be it of what God does not want people to bow down to statues because behind statues there are spirits now you can see people going around this, this animal you know animal statue I don't know it's a statue it's like a worship thing. I know people look, people are looking at it and they're saying like it's entertainment. No, it's creativity. You know, the devil is smart. The devil has been able to deceive the world. You know, people are people are spiritually blind. People cannot see these things. And right now, if the way I'm talking to you, I'm telling you these things. There are some who will come and criticize me, say, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. But totally, this is satanism in display. This is devil worshiping. People are worshipping the devil in broad daylight. They are not hiding it anymore. I don't know, you know, you have heard of these secret societies, secret societies. I don't know if they are, they are going to be secret anymore. They are no longer, be, they are no longer going to be secret. They, are, they will be just be open societies. They are no longer going to be secret because now they are putting it out there. And people are going there, you know, people are going around that statue. We are living, we are living in very dangerous times. We are living in very dangerous times. And these are the things which really, you know, uh, annoy God. These are things which annoy God so much. And now, imagine, and I heard that the Prince, uh, Prince Charles was there. Prince Charles was there. A lot of one leaders were there. I don't want to conclude anything, but wow, this is not good news. It's not good. So the church needs the church needs to wake up. We need to preach the gospel. These are the last days. Jesus is coming. The devil is you no, know, is coming up so strong. He's putting up his agenda so loud and clear. He's not hiding anymore. The Bible said the devil is like a roaring lion. Looking for whom to devour. The devil is now aggressive. He has become so aggressive now. He's putting his display. And now our kids watch these things. Now, 
those are the things now you, you now it, it is in the Olympics. Now when you look, you know, the, the devil has a way of you know brainwashing people. You know, people are being brain, brainwashed without knowing. Now when you see those things in the Olympics, you may look at them and say, okay, because uh, the Olympics is uh, something international, something credible. So if uh, if you have these things in the Olympics, that means uh, it, it's, it's the right thing. There's nothing wrong with it. So tomorrow, when they do it over and over and over, it will it will make people conform to the idea that having statues and doing all those kind of rituals is normal. Not knowing they're being initiated into cultism, into devil worshiping, into illuminatis and the stuff. And this is very very bad. It is happening in our presence. It's very very bad. You know, and these are the these images you, we, we, you started seeing there in music videos, in music videos, in movies. The devil is putting a mess, is sending a message out there. He's sending a message, he's corrupting people. And that is an altar. What you see, that's an altar. That's an altar which has been raised. And when I come here, I tell you about altars. You think that I'm just saying my own things. Altars are powerful. Life is being controlled by altars. Your life is controlled by an altar. You don't just live your life the way you want to live your life. There's an altar which is responsible for the way you live your life. Either your life is good or bad, there's an altar behind it responsible for the cause which your life is taking. And when you talk about altars, you 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 think that we don't know what you are saying. But now, if people like uh, the ones who organize those events are putting up an altar, it should tell you something. Altars are very important. That's an altar. People now are worshiping at that altar. It becomes an altar, and they are worshiping a false god. They are worshiping a false god and Commonwealth Games is one of those, you know, those are, you know, uh, highly esteemed events. Now, if the devil has managed to exalt himself in such platforms, the devil has managed to exalt his ag agendas in such platforms, and imagine, imagine just having a, maybe a gospel singer singing in that event, people would not go against it. Guys, Christians will need to to rise up. The Bible says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit lifts up a standard against it. We need to lift a standard against what is happening right now. Because if the if, if you don't raise, if the a standard is not raised, I don't know if you'll be able to pick the gospel. Because the devil is a, is, a, is very aggressive. But one thing I know is that the gates of hell shall not prevail. No matter what they do, how much they try, they will never prevail. Because we have the power, we have the authority in Christ Jesus. So guys, this is just a wake-up call. It's an eye-opener. We need to pray. We need to be strong with the Lord. We need to put the gospel. We need to... Let's, let's, guys, we need to inf in, infiltrate the gospel. The gospel should not only be preached in church. We should have the gospel in schools, in the politics, in the corridors of power. In, in, in sports, in music, in so many areas. We need the gospel to infiltrate so many areas. Not only the, the gospel is not, a, is not a church issue. The gospel is not a church issue. The gospel is supposed to get out of the church to go into the world. That's why Jesus left his comfort zone in heaven and came to earth. The gospel has to leave the church and go to the world so that it can touch lives in the world. So guys, that's all I saw this video and it really disturbed me. So, thanks for watching. I'm Clever Sanjana Claude. With him, don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with 10 or more people and God will bless you. See you in the next video. Love you. Bye.